you guys i'm still here i'm still grinding i dropped a, an album about two months ago called a tribute to i just wanted to start out the summer pretty hard it had about seven tracks on it and it went fairly well man i got a lot of plays on it so far spotify does really good i'm planning on doing some more music videos i got merch on the way i came out with a line of hats if you guys didn't see that my hats through brandon bills sold out in the first two days i put in another order to get some hats this time it's going to go straight through me i'm also coming out with new shirts with a new design those should be here in three weeks along with the hats the new reorder of hats um if you guys are wondering about the prices of the hats the hats are snapbacks um they're 30 dollars a hat the shirts are 25 for each size underneath 2x if i go above 2x then i have to charge a little bit extra because it's a little bit extra for me to make it i'm still grinding bro I'm trying to come out with more music videos. I haven't dropped a music video in about two years, but I'm trying to come out with some more. I know that's a big part of promoting the album. So I've been slacking on that and I'm sorry for that. I put together this whole studio and that's kind of been taking my whole time away from everything else. Um, I appreciate you guys still being there and still listening to the music and still giving me all the motivation that you guys do. Um, I'm not stopping. I actually have some pretty big things in mind. In March, I'm gonna to try to land some big name features for myself. Um, I feel like that's maybe the only key part I'm missing is getting these big name features. Cause I know when I did my song with Ritz, so it got a lot of attention and I wasn't able to do a video to that song, but I know if I was able to land big name features kind of in the same category as Ritz, because I feel like that's where I set in at, that I'll be able to land some uh, some more fans you know I've been recording so much I have so much music in the vault I don't know if I'm gonna release singles or if I'll release more albums what it's gonna be but I am currently working on Desert on the Moon 4 I was never gonna go beyond 3 but I feel like it's just the right time I'm really motivated so I really want to be able to drop Desert on the Moon 4 so that's what I'm working on I dropped a song on my YouTube it's only on YouTube and it's DM4 Freestyle, so Desert on the Moon 4 Freestyle. That's kind of what started this whole thing. I usually start all my Desert on the Moons by doing one song. That's Desert on the Moon material. Those are my favorite albums to do because I'm so free in them. And my music's just able to be all over the place because it's, it's out of this world. It's Desert on the Moon. And I feel like those are my, my strongest projects. I always put my best music on Desert on the Moons. The ones that are in between are kind of me experimenting a little bit and kind of do a little bit of a different style. So when I do the Desert on the Moons, it's truly me just having fun. And that's what I love to do. You know, through the last couple months, I've been kind of, I haven't been necessarily motivated in music because I have a lot on my plate right now. And uh, it's kind of hard to focus on music, especially with two kids, a wife. But as you can see, I'm truly motivated in the grand scheme of things because I built this place. I did this all for the Yachty Gunna brand and I'm not gonna give up on my dreams ever. You know, if I don't make it by 50, I'll probably still be doing this at 50 just because I love it. And it doesn't matter how much money I'm making at it, which I do do all right now. It doesn't matter if I'm making a living at it or not. But I know in my head that I do have the talent and I do have the motivation and the uh, drive to make this a career, uh, as everybody pretty much tells me all the time, even at my job. Like, we don't know why you're still here. You guys, you should be doing music full time. And I struggle with that. I struggle with taking the leap because I don't want to be that guy that his kids have to miss out on things because he's chasing his dream. You know, I don't want to be the selfish one. I want to be able to provide for my kids and provide for my wife. I know that if I take that leap, I definitely will get somewhere as I have gotten places when I still have my day job, you know, and I'm a very motivated person. I've been working a job since I was 14 years old, you know, so, you know, but I'm not, I'm not quitting on you guys. I'm doing everything that I can on my end. Some of my plans for the future, like I said, to get those big name features also to get this 
top of this studio cleaned out so that I can start storing my merchandise up there and have it on hand at all times. I know you guys always want merchandise and I always sell out super quick if you guys want a shirt. I don't have to make a reorder and get a whole bunch of more shirts so that you guys can get a shirt. That's not fair. I'm trying to get it all squared away up there. If anyone has any ideas of how I could store my merch in a loft, it's going to be kind of hard. Um, if there's a way I could store merchandise, maybe shelvings that roll or, you know, I'm a pretty handy dude. So if I need to build something, I can. If I want more music videos, I'll do more music videos. If you guys want more music, I'll do more music. If you guys just want me to promote the music I have in any shape, way, and form I can, I'm not really one of those guys that likes to be the big TikTok guy or the big real guy that's going out and telling people to listen to my music and has a speaker and says, will you listen to my music? And then they jam it and they like it or they don't. I'm not really that guy and put on, maybe I need to be, and maybe that's what I'm slacking on, you know. Thank you so much. Until next time, thanks for all the support. Yada gonna, and I'm out.